Jacob with another movie review for you guys and welcome to another installment in my celebrating Disney series where each week I review and celebrate all things Disney animated or live action of the main Disney banner. This is my 100th review of celebrating Disney which is a pretty amazing milestone and in this week's video an animated review will be taking a look at the 1999 feature film Doug's first movie. Doug's first movie was released in 1999, and sadly, this was also Doug's last movie. This was a feature film adaptation of a popular TV show. It had an interesting history. The show originally aired on Nickelodeon, and then somehow the rights ended up over at Disney, and Disney ended up producing the film version of Doug. I have no nostalgia for Doug, unlike this guy. So apparently this movie was originally meant to be a straight to DVD release, but Disney was compelled to make a theatrical film because Nickelodeon's Rugrats movie was a big financial success. Did that translate well for Disney? Well, the reviews for Doug's first movie weren't the best. It has a 26% on Rotten Tomatoes and the movie didn't really make its money back. So this was seen as kind of the nail in the coffin for the series Doug. And apparently this Doug's first movie ended up acting as the series finale of the show. As someone who has no nostalgia for the show Doug, what are my thoughts on Doug's first movie? Let's find out together. Doug and his pal Skeeter set out to find the monster of Lucky Duck Lake. The things get really out of hand when someone blurts out that the monster is real. So I have seen this movie once a long, long time ago. As a kid, we had on our satellite provider at the time, we had Toon Disney, which is a channel that doesn't exist anymore. And Toon Disney played a lot of animated cartoons and Disney movies. And one of the movies that aired on Toon Disney one time was Doug's first movie. I watched it once and obviously as a kid, you tend to get invested in anything, depending on whether the quality is good or not. And it was a movie I forgot about over time until compiling the Celebrating Disney series and looking at all the animated films I was planning on reviewing. What are my thoughts on this movie after many, many years of having seen the film? Eh, it's not really that good. I mean... The movie does feel like an extended episode of the series, and I haven't even seen the series, so I don't know the layout, but it just feels like a basic coming-of-age episode stretched into a feature film. And there's so many aspects of the film where I can tell, oh, this is where you can put the commercial breaks in between each of the scenes, because it's that dull of a movie. Doug is such an absolute boring protagonist like I guess he's supposed to be an everyday kid that you can easily relate to but compared to some other protagonists that are similar in this nature especially like Charlie Brown Doug just does not have the same heart and appeal compared to that Charlie Brown has the emotional appeal going for him to where every time he makes a mistake you feel for him Doug is just Hey, I'm Doug, and I'm determined to do everything right. And just that perkiness just kind of got on my nerves a little bit, and I just didn't feel anything watching the film. The animation's not anything special either. It feels like a made-for-TV movie compared to a theatrical film. And you can tell Disney was milking this movie the best that they could because this originally was supposed to be a direct-to-video animated film. And then the story itself, I just didn't really find that much meat in it. It's pretty much E.T., but not as good. Because the story involves Doug finding 
the the mysterious lake monster and they become good friends. And there's like a conspiracy plot going on and Doug has to find a new home for the lake monster. That's pretty much the plot of the film. But it's nowhere as interesting. Like the humor is not really that good. The characters I'm not a big fan of. A lot of them are more annoying than anything else. And there's just some weird jokes in this movie. Like there's this random joke involving the most random appearance of a robot in a movie since Rocky IV. And it made absolutely no sense and I didn't find it remotely funny. It was just like, okay, why is that there? And also, some of these names are just absolutely weird. Like, who names your kids Doug Funny and Patty Mayonnaise? It was just so weird. Who came up with these names? Someone should be fired. Overall, Doug's first movie, there's not much to say about this. If you have a nostalgia connection with Doug, you might enjoy this movie, but as someone who never saw the show, there's just not much in this movie. I just can't find the appeal of the, of the Doug character. Just the movie is just so dull throughout, and it's a movie that, even though I just watched the movie before turning the camera on and filming this video, I've already forgotten much of it because it's such a dull experience. It's a very forgettable movie too that just doesn't do anything to stand out or pop compared to so many other great films in the medium of animation or film in general. Like it takes the E.T. formula and just doesn't do anything with it to make it remotely interesting. And that's a big problem that the movie does have. Not the worst thing I've seen come out of the Disney studio, but it's definitely a forgettable film that's not gonna sit with me anytime soon or in the years to come in my life. So before I share my overall rating and grade for Doug's first movie, let's see what people on Twitter had to say on Doug's first movie. The only comment I got was from Brett Greer, who tweeted an extended episode that was put in theaters. I couldn't agree more. So I'm gonna give Doug's first movie a two out of five stars and on the 100 point scale, it's getting a 33 out of 100. So that wraps up my review of Doug's first movie, my 100th celebrating Disney review. Not the best movie to celebrate a big milestone like that, but it is what it is. If you're a fan of Disney, I'll leave a link in the description below for a playlist where you can check out my other mini reviews that I've done on my Celebrating Disney series, whether my animated reviews or live action reviews. If you're a hardcore fan of Disney, there's plenty of reviews of movies that I've covered. So definitely feel free to click that link to catch up on more of my videos. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified of future Celebrating Disney videos. If you're new to the series, each week I alternate between animated and live action reviews. My animated reviews are in chronological order from their theatrical animated classics to the direct-to-video sequels along with Pixar. And my live action reviews are freestyle and are prone to request. If there's any live action film or franchise you'd like me to tackle in the near future, feel free to share your requests down in the comments below. Also, if you follow me on Twitter, I occasionally leave polls where you can help vote and decide which movies will be tackled on Celebrating Disney in the near future. Join me next week in my Celebrating Disney series where I'll be diving into another live action review. Having just watched The Mighty Ducks for the first time, I decided to finish up with The Mighty Ducks series, continuing with D2, The Mighty Ducks. So be on the lookout for my review of The Mighty Ducks 2 coming to the channel next week. But if you've seen Doug's first movie, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the film. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, besides movie reviews, I also do TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!